Are you really from an island with no men? I... May I have this dance? Yeah. Thank you, Mr... Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Ten most romantic moments between Batman and Wonder Woman. Having a successful love life as a superhero seems to be a lot more unrealistic than flying, shape-shifting, or being a crazy rich billionaire with enough work-life balance to manage a business and be a hero. And in this matter, Batman has one of the shortest ends of the stick. Despite having enjoyed his popularity with women, Bruce Wayne's love life has always been a mess. Getting involved with girls like Catwoman and Talia al Ghul, who are supposedly villains, only makes things harder for him. Many of his other girls have been damsels in distress as well, so he deserves some good romance in his life, especially with someone who is on the same bandwagon as him. It is comparatively easier to carry out a romance when you are often in close proximity with that person. This is where Diana of Themyscira, aka Wonder Woman, comes in. The princess and the billionaire have unreal sexual tension between them, and clearly, they like each other. Fans love it, but Batman's terrible life experiences prevent him from pursuing this dynamic. There's also the fact that they work together, which only makes the pairing sexier, but someone needs to explain this to Batman. But all of these problems do not stop them from having their super cute and often seductive moments in the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. In today's video, we will go over 10 such instances where Batman and Wonder Woman get romantic and playful with each other. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I'll go with Bruce, and John can go with Clark. Whatever! Number 1. Diana's Kitty Crush on Batman The third episode of Justice League Unlimited, Kid Stuff, brings out an unusual side of Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Green Lantern. The evil sorceress, Morgan Le Fay, is subdued by her son Mordred when he snatches the super-powerful amulet of first magic for himself. He soon casts a spell to banish all adults from the world. Stu, I never want to see you or anyone older than me ever again. So the adults, the Justice League included, find themselves in a parallel dimension. In a desperate situation, Morgan enlists the help of the Justice League and turns them into kids with her magic so that they can infiltrate Mordred's world. The Justice League, now known as the Justice Babies, find themselves in this new world with Mordred as the king. They have distinctly different and more juvenile behaviors compared to their adult counterparts, even though Batman, or Bat Boy, manages to retain some of his broodiness. Wonder Girl, however, is more like a bossy big sister now. The Justice Babies find Mordred and try to put a stop to his antics. In the process, they are made to go against Mordred's magic, which is too powerful for them. Playtime is over! Ultimately, Batman comes up with a sneak attack that requires the four of them to branch into groups of two. This is when Wonder Girl clearly shows off her crush on Batboy, as she first suggests that she will group with Clark, but then changes her mind and brings Batboy into the equation. Her expression gets quite cute and cheeky as well, as she smirks toward a nonchalant Batboy. He shrugs her off with a whatever, but knowing Batman, he probably wants to group with her and is just acting cool because they are work buddies. She says it again, takes his hand, and pulls him along with her. As a kid, Batman could have just taken it more lightly instead of concealing his emotions over and over. But we understand where he is coming from. He plays it cool and never really denies Wonder Woman's affection. He is a serious guy, but that does not mean he has not had his slips from time to time when it came to the Themyscirian princess. I'm talking about going down there and having some fun. Maybe, maybe with someone special. Number three, Batman and Wonder Woman flirting on a rooftop. The fifth episode from Justice League Unlimited, this little piggy brings forth a nemesis of Wonder Woman's mother, Hippolyta, the enchantress and goddess Circe. But before anything major goes down, Batman and Wonder Woman find themselves atop a roof trying to catch inner gang before they can steal the Rosetta Stone. Wonder Woman looks down and gets a glimpse of several couples who seem to be quite in love. As someone who has had to dedicate her life to fighting and also cannot really die like a regular human being, she begins to lament the lack of love in her life, even though she does not directly say that. To make the best of her situation, she flirts with Batman, but Batman being Batman, responds in the most unromantic way ever, as he immediately gives her a list of reasons why they cannot pursue a relationship. 
His first explanation talks about how dating within his team will be disastrous. The second one talks more about their differences when it comes to their upbringing. While Diana was raised by immortal warriors, Bruce is just a rich kid with an unreal number of issues. And finally, he is worried that if he does get together with her, their enemies are likely to use her to blackmail him. Even though he actually turns her down, his words give away the fact that he is definitely into her, but cannot pursue the relationship due to reasons. In all honesty, he can chill for a bit instead of making 50,000 contingency plans and overthinking every little detail. In fact, he does not have to worry about his enemies using Diana to blackmail him, since she is a literal demigod. But this also proves how Batman is soft for Wonder Woman, even though he knows that nothing is really a threat to her. <laughs> Number 4. Wonder Woman Looking at Batman Lovingly In the same episode, Wonder Woman gets turned into a pig by Cersei, leaving her with Batman, who now has to find a way to cure her. He gets in touch with the magician known as Zatanna, but even she is unable to outdo the magic of a god. I've given it my best shots. I guess my powers run a distant second to those of a goddess. Throughout their conversations, Batman keeps petting Wonder Pig. It looks like a casual scene where a man is petting an animal, but knowing the truth behind it, anyone can guess that he just wants to comfort Diana, and this way, he does not even have to accept his repressed feelings. Later, they transport to the amphitheater, but Wonder Pig gets caught there. Batman recalls magic having its limits, and asks Cersei how he can pay for her to reverse the spell on Diana. This is when Cersei asks him to unveil something he has never shown to anyone, which brings us to Batman singing with his incredible voice. Batman goes on stage in Cersei's slaughterhouse, and sings the romantic song, Am I Blue, for Diana. Am I Blue? Later, after Wonder Pig turns back to Wonder Woman, she pretends like she does not remember anything. She asks Bruce if she missed anything, and he claims that she missed nothing. But as she gives him a look and walks away, she begins to hum, Am I Blue? Bruce realizes that she is aware of everything that has happened. He adds the icing to the cake by smiling when she walks off singing the song he sang for her. She is probably even aware of him petting her a lot while she was a pig. Well, he did sing lyrics like, Am I Blue? Ain't these tears in my eyes telling you? That is quite the giveaway. Diana! Ugh. Number 5. Batman shows genuine concern for Diana. The Justice League episode, The Brave and the Bold, witnesses Batman lose his calm after Diana finds herself in danger. In this episode, Gorilla Grodd tries to destroy Gorilla City, a city of intelligent gorillas, with missiles. Green Lantern disables two of the launched missiles. The ones flying over the ocean make the job slightly easier when one of the missiles heads towards Gorilla City. Wonder Woman intervenes as she uses all of her might to stop the disaster. She pushes it off course and stops the explosion. However, in the process, she seemingly injures herself and gets buried under the missile. In fact, for a while, the League is unable to find her body under it. A desperate Batman begins to dig and dig and dig, and fortunately, he gets a hold of Diana's hand, who has obviously survived. As the city cheers for Diana, she notices Batman's gloves are covered in dirt. She realizes he was desperate enough to want to save her, and kisses his cheek in public. Batman being Batman, turns his face away from her and shyly blushes. We don't really get to see his face go all red, but it is quite evident that deep down, he's hyperventilating. Enjoying yourself so far? More than I expected. Number 6. Batman and Wonder Woman's Romantic Dance Now now, this is not so much about Batman and Wonder Woman as much as it is about Bruce Wayne and Wonder Woman. In the episode Made of Honor, Wonder Woman attends a party in Paris. The secret of her identity is now out, so everyone is aware of her being Wonder Woman. She soon gets overwhelmed at the party as people begin to flock around her. Bruce Wayne, who is also present, notices this and drags her out as he asks her for a dance. Of course she says yes, this is Bruce Wayne after all. Plus she wants to escape all the press and have some fun. However, she does not know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. The two flirt a lot as they dance, and he even pulls her closer. Without having to hide his feelings due to working as colleagues in the Justice League, Batman unleashes his smooth demeanor with Wonder Woman, and she seems to enjoy it quite a bit. Unfortunately, the moment is ruined as another important guest, 
Princess Audrey, almost gets kidnapped, prompting Diana to leave the dance to protect her. Towards the end, Diana does figure out that the man behind Batman's mask is Bruce Wayne, but the killing point of this episode is not even the two lead members flirting with each other. It is the scene with Wonder Woman handling the crisis at hand, while Batman stands back and eats some finger food. There are definitely huge advantages of being involved with demigods who have superpowers. What'd you get him? I'm not saying anything. He'll hear and spoil the surprise. Number 7. Visiting Superman Together Justice League Unlimited has an episode called For the Man Who Has Everything. Superman's birthday is here. Wonder Woman and Batman head to the Fortress of Solitude together to give him a gift. The interaction between them is not very romantic, but it is one of those moments of banter between a pair that really gets the audience invested in them. Wonder Woman and Batman discuss the gift they have gotten for the Man of Steel. Diana seems to have a surprise for him, but Batman points out that with his powers, he probably knows what the surprise is. Meanwhile, Diana is shocked to learn that Batman has gotten some cash in an envelope for the Kryptonian. It might sound bad, but Batman's reasoning is perfectly correct. What else can you give to a man who has it all? Wonder Woman does not disagree with his logic either. I mean, what do you buy for the man who has everything? Unfortunately, the two cannot continue with their playful banter, as they soon find Superman, with him being used as a host of an extraterrestrial telepathic plant that has trapped him in a false reality where everything is fine in Krypton. Batman and Wonder Woman once again have to ditch their personal excitement for the greater good. You okay, tough guy? Let go, I'm fine! Number 8. Batman in the Arms of Wonder Woman Going back to kid stuff, the episode had more tea on Batman and Wonder Woman than the flirting during the grouping. While going against Mordred, the League had to fight toy warriors who had been animated by Mordred himself. They hold up quite well on their own, that is until Batboy is severely subdued by one of Mordred's creatures. He is a young, brooding boy who does not like being the only one in the group who cannot fly. When he is subdued, Wonder Woman comes to his rescue, destroys the creature, and catches a free-falling Batboy like he is a princess. He definitely likes being in her arms, but is not the type to admit that. As a result, he shrugs it off and leaves her clutches. He also probably does not like being saved that way, but sometimes these things happen when you are the only regular human amongst demigods and superpowered aliens. What's going on between you and Diana? Nothing. She's a respected colleague. Number 9. John asks Batman about him and Diana. In the 12th episode of Justice League Unlimited, The Once and Future Thing Part 1, Weird Western Tales, John Stewart grows tired of Batman questioning him about his love life and turns the tables on the billionaire. With Shaira betraying the League but ultimately helping them out, things between her and John Stewart do not really go back to the way things were. She also rejoins the League, but John Stewart moves on from their relationship and starts to go out with Vixen. When Batman learns of this, he is in disbelief. This irks Stewart a bit, who then plays an Uno reverse card on the bat and probes on his present romantic situation with Wonder Woman. The League is well aware of the tension between the two, it's no secret, but Batman consistently goes out of his way to prevent anything from driving him to take off with her. He tells Jon Stewart that he prioritizes his work over everything else, while mentioning how many great qualities Diana has. He calls her a respected colleague, a valued friend, and a remarkable woman, all while Wonder Woman overhears it from the next room and comes and stands behind him. When Batman realizes that she is right there, she cheekily asks him to keep digging for more good things to say about her. I've never seen bugs like you before. We're not bugs. We're certainly not gods. Hey! Number 10. Nobody Slaps Diana The second season of Justice League premiered with an episode called Twilight. Here, Darkseid seeks the help of the League due to Brainiac posing a huge threat to Apocalypse. In one instance, Batman and Wonder Woman pair up with each other and visit the fictional planet of New Genesis to get Orion for his help. One of the lower class citizens of New Genesis helps them in finding the extravagant place of the new gods. As Batman and Wonder Woman get there, Orion's friend Light Ray intercepts them. He initially thinks that they are the second class citizens of New Genesis known as Bugs. Wonder Woman asks for Orion's location, but Light Ray is not the most cooperative. He dares her to beat him in a flight race and even slaps her butt. This annoys her as she claims that he is worse than the Flash. Batman is clearly annoyed by Light Ray's conduct as well, but he does not say anything. He is more of an action-oriented guy anyway. 
Wonder Woman chases Light Ray to beat him, but unfortunately, she cannot catch up. All this happens while Wonder Woman holds Batman close to her as they fly together. Ultimately, Batman comes up with an improvised plan to get to Light Ray and uses his cape to stop Light Ray. The moment is subtle, but it is evident that Batman will not hesitate to go against someone who crosses Diana's boundaries. To be fair, Wonder Woman is an immortal demigod from an island full of warriors, while Bruce Wayne is a mortal man. This is a strange relationship to pursue anyway, but Batman needs to know that he deserves some happiness in his life. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone! If my enemies knew I had someone special, they wouldn't rest until they'd gotten to me through her.